rocketing up to four and a half thousand miles per hour and climbing as high as 67 miles to the edge of space, the X-15 was a plane unlike any other. And although it took to the skies over 60 years ago, aside from spacecraft, it remains the fastest manned aircraft ever made. Beginning with the breaking of the sound barrier by the X-1 in 1947, NASA's experimental X-planes have continually pushed the limits of possibility. But perhaps none have pushed harder than the North American X-15. Developed throughout the 1950s, it was built to explore hypersonic flight beyond five times the speed of sound, and to lay the groundwork for later missions into space. To do that, it was fitted with a huge XLR-99 rocket engine 57,000 pounds of thrust with a throttle attached. And thrusters for control outside the Earth's atmosphere. With fuel lasting less than two minutes, the X-15 was carried up to 45,000 feet under the wing of a B-52 bomber. From there, it could launch up to the edge of space, 10 times as high as a cruising airliner, or fly straight to reach maximum speeds of up to Mach 6.7, close to seven times the speed of sound. The X-15 was so fast that it not only doubled pilots' heart rates, it produced temperatures on its outer skin exceeding 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. And the data it captured informed design and engineering decisions for the US space program up to the space shuttle Only 12 daredevil pilots ever flew the X-15, and two of those went on to be elite astronauts. One was Joe Engel, and the other was Neil Armstrong. Using the skills they'd honed in the cockpit of the X-15, Engel went on to pilot the space shuttle, whilst Armstrong took command of Apollo 11's mission to the moon. Armstrong and his fellow pilots flew the X-15 nearly 200 times between 1959 and 68, pushing boundaries and captivating minds as they went. All this and more ensured that the X-15 would go down in history as one of the greatest flying machines ever made. Uh,